It's a cold winter day in Utah. Along the Wasatch Front, hundreds of thousands of people are busy at work. Many of them are commuting to jobs in different counties, far from where they live. 80% of the state's 2.7 million people live and work in the region. Today, these families and many others across the region will be separated. The largest earthquake to hit Utah in modern times has just begun. The rupture travels approximately 25 miles north along the Wasatch Fault. Some react appropriately, others don't. Over 10,000 buildings collapse. The shaking lasts for nearly a minute in some areas, damaging 285,000 buildings. Even in buildings that are not damaged, possessions fall down or are thrown across rooms. Infrastructure is destroyed. Utilities throughout Utah are disrupted. 2,300 people will die. 30,000 people will be injured. And $35 billion in building damages will occur. Finally, the shaking is over. A large number of people are trapped in collapsed buildings. Over 160 fires start, some turning into conflagrations. Hundreds of thousands of people are trying to use their phones, causing the system to become overloaded. In the months ahead, there will be tens of thousands of aftershocks. Residents will struggle to recover from the earthquake. There will be no water for weeks or months and no electricity. Traveling around town will be more difficult and time consuming and 350,000 people will be displaced from their homes. We are all in this together. We will all suffer the earthquake's consequences if most of us do nothing now. How quickly you will recover from this disaster is up to you and those around you. Your level of personal preparedness will determine your quality of life after the quake. Here are a few things you can do to prepare. It's a good idea to have a fire extinguisher, a first aid kit, and at least a three-day supply of water for each person in your household. Have an emergency plan. And decide where you will meet up with your family after an earthquake. Make sure there is a person out of town you can contact to let your loved ones know that you're okay. When remodeling your older brick home, consult a professional engineer or the Utah Guide for the Seismic Improvement of Unreinforced Masonry Dwellings. Consider whether earthquake insurance makes sense for you as part of your financial plan. You should also secure furniture, your hot water heater, and heavy or valuable items so they won't fall. Preparedness is not only for the home, but also for business. Be sure that your company has emergency plans for a major earthquake. Empower yourself and your family. Be prepared. For more information, visit www.bereadyutah.gov.